Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Simone Sharice, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a 360 lace frontal wig. I'm going to be using hair from the hair company Yolissa, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. This is part one of a two-part series. So I'm going to start off by putting my wig cap onto my canvas head. It's an adjustable cap, so it makes life 10 times easier and your wig much more comfortable. So when we're doing the wig, we want to make sure, you see where the black line is, right? We want to pull the frontal about an inch forward for the wig cap. Now what we're going to do is, it's a little bit loose, you'll notice if you're doing this with me, and you're going to have to fold, make little folds, just so that when you're sewing it, it sews on seamlessly and there is no loose bulges or anything. Now this is my first time doing a 360 lace frontal wig, so um, bear with me guys, I'm learning with you <laughs> just as we're doing this. What I did was, you can see I pinned everything down. Now I'm going to go ahead and just sew as close as possible to the hair. So I'm just going to go right ahead and go right around the entire head and just make, um, you know, nice neat stitching. Now, this is a little bit hard because there is no lining, like how a front will have lining. I kind of skipped through the process, so don't kill me. I wasn't proud of my work, but I still wanted to show you guys what I it in the video so I pretty much did the same exact steps that I would do if I was doing a regular wig you know sewing from left to right left to right left to right so that part is fairly self-explanatory if you're looking for something more more in depth this is not the video for you but the hair I would say it did have a nice silky finish so that was um, an A plus for me I used about three bundles that I was sent um, to create this look and this hair is completely straight um, the only issue I had with this hair is you have to definitely double the wefts because if not then the wefts you know you can see that it's kind of thin right here a little bit so I did have to definitely go back and add more hair because the wefts were not as full you know but overall, I would say the hair wasn't a complaint for me. I wish the frontal was a little bit more fuller. Guys, also, I'm styling this entire wig in a part two video. I do not show you the back of the hair now because I'm still learning. That's how it looks inside. So it looks kind of like a wig. You can cut the black part of the wig if you want or you can leave it. I decided to go ahead and cut it, but for future preferences, I probably would not cut the black wig cap inside just because I felt like it was pointless. It felt more snug with the lace, the wig cap inside. So this is how the back of the wig looks, a 360 wig. And I tested it on my cousin's head because I couldn't really see what was going on being that this is my first time doing this, as I mentioned before. So I kind of tested it on her head first to see how it looked on her head. Um, and I was able to customize it a little bit more on her head before I went ahead and put it on my head. So the hair was fairly long. Uh, it was longer on me than it was on her because she's a little bit taller than me. Yeah, so this is how the back look. So you see these little sewn up pieces, um, hems by the air. I was so lost on what to do with that. And I didn't know where to put the headband because... Um, it would show on the sides by the air guys. I was so lost with this entire tutorial. I'm being a hundred percent honest. So, um Like I said, the one thing I did get to lay properly was The wig towards the end. I got it to lay properly, but I wasn't able to put it in a ponytail I did go ahead and customize and tweeze this um, wig very much So I did it. I tweeze a whole lot of hair out of this to make it look much more natural to my liking um yeah, I just didn't know where to cut. I'm not going to even lie. I'm not going to even lie. I'm going to be real, real honest with y'all right now. So now I'm just cutting around the ears. And I did find a way to sneak a headband underneath. I'm trying to tuck it under. But it's not really seamless, if that makes sense. So this is just not seamless enough for me. Um, I'm going to cut the other part off of the other part of the ear. And show you guys how it looks so i added in this piece of stretchy fabric that i found um in my house and i kind of attached it i kind of made like my own little concoction so 
the headband is there and my adjustable headband then I took some pieces of the fabric and I kind of added it to from the cuts of where one part of the ear was to the cut of the other part of the ear so that's that little stretchy piece right there So that's what kept it snug to be honest but if I didn't do this I'm still trying to figure out see I've watched tutorials on YouTube and I feel like I'm not really learning anything about anything so um, I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit more myself like how I usually teach myself how to do things but now I'm just gonna go ahead and get to styling and show you the rest later in part two